thank you very much. Uh, really? Uh, that's very nice of you. Alright, come on, we're on a tight schedule. Cue the drum roll. Hello, yes, it is I, Richter Posh, and welcome once again to the Whole Enchilada, the only small time talk show on the web that you can find recorded on a donut shop. <laughs> Yes, yes, I didn't expect this many laughs. Um, yes, as some of our listeners may have noticed, we have gathered quite an audience. <clears throat> well, uh, it's actually a laugh track, but don't tell my boss. He doesn't know. Hmm. Well, anyways, today we have a great show for you people. But first, I'd like to talk to you a little about the Oprah Winfrey show. Well, have you, have you seen the Oprah Winfrey Oprah Winfrey show? Anybody? Who's seen Oprah? I guess you all have. Okay. okay, okay, I get it. You all like Oprah. Okay. Alright, stop it! As you may have heard already, Oprah is now airing her show in its last season. Which means that somebody will need to take the place, if you will, of Oprah. Now, I know what you're thinking. Who could possibly take the place of one of the most influential characters in American history? Well, Conan O'Brien tried to take the place of Oprah when he was still involved in the Tonight Show franchise. Um, here, let's take a look at some of his recommendations, shall we? Okay, well one of Oprah's main jobs was to tell us what books to read. Here's the problem, I'm not a big reader, but... I do love to watch a lot of DVDs, and tonight I'd like to recommend a towering cinematic achievement, Troll, Troll 2. Troll 2. Oprah puts this, <laughs> puts it down right too. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's about, I'm not making this up, it's about a town called Nilbog, that's goblin spelled backwards, where a vet... Don't boo just yet, hear me out. Where vegetarian trolls turn people into plants and then eat them. I order you, as your new Oprah, to buy or rent Troll 2 today. Do it, you have no choice. Now, there are some people out there who might doubt my powers as your new Oprah. Big mistake, okay? Yes, unfortunately, in addition to recommending the worst film of all time, Conan O'Brien was pushed off his show by Jay Leno's enormous chin, which, as I'm sure you know, is roughly the size of the Arabian Peninsula. <laughs> so that is why I have decided to become America's new Oprah. Yes, and here to talk with me about my decision to become the new Oprah is former President Bill Clinton. How are you doing, Bill? Uh, Bill? Mr. Clinton? Be sure you get the right attribution there. Is he talking Polish? Hello? Mr. Clinton? Yo! Anybody home? Okay, okay, I guess, um, Mr. Clinton is currently unavailable to, uh, talk with us right now, so, um... Now you folks remember Pee Wee Herman, yes, he was the guest who tried to ruin my show last time we were here, and, um, despite his, um, uh, strange qualities, I've decided to give him a small segment on, uh, the whole enchilada from now on. He says it's called the, the Secret Word, where, um, Pee Wee teaches us valuable vocabulary with words such as salubrious or magnanimous. And, um, I haven't actually heard his, uh, secret word segment, but we're going to hear it today. So, um, here is today's secret word by Pee Wee Herman. Today's secret word is... It! <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait a minute, fellas. Pee Wee, are you trying to tell me that today's secret word is... It? 
Really? You couldn't think of a better word than it to use for today's show? No! Right. Okay. Um... Well, um... No. TV. Just don't do that again. Please. Okay? Let's move on to our next guest, who is somewhat of a neighborhood celebrity. You might know him. His uh, name is Z-Dog, and he's here to talk with us now, live from our studio set, which my cameraman Richard has been gladly able to donate for us. So, hello, Z-Dog. Is, is that how your name is pronounced? Yes, no, it's Z-D-O-G. Oh, okay, well, they just spelled it wrong here. Now, it's recently come to my attention, Z-Dog, that you are somewhat of a neighborhood celebrity. Is that correct? I, I believe so. Yes, now tell me, Z-Dog, what do you think of your own name? For some reason, people confuse me with dog. I don't know why, but I, I like it. Really? Hmm, interesting. So tell me, Z Dog, if you could invent a new sport, what would it be? Cat. It'd probably be cat bowling. Cat bowling? Uh, how do you how do you play cat bowling? Well, you steal a cat, and then you roll it down the street, and then if you get turned over, you buy a car. You. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I'd ask you to demonstrate it, but I'm afraid that the Humane Society might come along and shut us down, so... Yeah. I suppose that's not your typical kind of bowling, is it? <coughs> Sorry. Just got money. Yeah. Whoa, wait a minute. Are you saying that you cough up money? Yeah. Okay, okay, well please don't put that on the bed. That's disgusting. <laughs> It's a golden coin. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. How is it possible that you can cough up golden coins? I'm a billionaire. What do you expect? Right. Moving on. <laughs> if you could cr create a sculpture, what would it be? What would it represent? Well, it'd probably be... What would it be made out of? It'd be made out of mosquitoes, of course. Mosquitoes? Really? Dead ones, of course. But it'd probably be a big... So a sculpture? Big statue of you. Okay, so a statue of you made out of dead mosquitoes. Yeah. Right. There's a sculpture if I ever saw one. So, um, see, dog. Tell me about the different qualities you would improve about yourself. Well, I wish I were extra limbs. Extra limbs? Like extra arms and legs and stuff? Yeah, so I can do stuff like Like what? You know, duh. Aha. Uh -huh. So, Z Dog, tell me a little about your own music. Well, I don't like it. I, I do rap. It's, it's cool. Well, what about the theme music we play here on the whole enchilada? What do you think of that? Well, it's kind of but I guess you like Hey, hey, hey! This here is a family-friendly production, so let's keep it clean here, Sea Dog. Um, I also heard that you'll be doing a small presentation for us. Is that true? Sure.
that was wonderful. A round of applause from our audience, shall we? All right, you can leave now, Z Dog. You, you can't do this. You can't do this. Uh, what? You want to start something here? You want to start? Something? No, no, Somebody no, no, call no, no, security. Look. Get this crazy <laughs> man out of here. Perfect. <laughs> Just perfect. Oh no, he's shooting at us. Quick, get the cameraman and the DeLorean. Okay, now how do we steer him off? Oh no, wait, he just, he just crashed into that. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good night.